Point clouds for SOLIDWORKS clash detection. So in this example here we're going to see a native SOLIDWORKS entity here, this extruded box, show clash with the loaded point clouds or point cloud in this instance here. So here we have our box and obviously this is our point cloud here. So now if you go to the point clouds tab you'll see if you hover the mouse there there's clash and there's also convert clashes so I'll talk about that in a moment so if I just turn on clash you'll see these red X's they denote where there is a clash between this native object and the point cloud if I move this box here uh, sorry if I extend this box you'll see X's appearing at the top and the bottom there where it's clashing with the uh, the point cloud and as I get across to this, this this cutout here in the building you'll see there's the clash now you can actually see there's the arch uh, for the point cloud this one's very similar and you can see the clash you can actually see the shape of uh, the point cloud behind there so if I just move that back you'll see it's where the clash is now not happening the red X's are taken away and as I move back across they're put back in so you can see the shape of the arch there is perfectly uh, showing the clash now you can turn that off and you can turn it on now with it turned on there'll be a slight performance hit if you start moving around the point cloud so if you've done with your clash detection we do advise that you turn it off um, so moving on to the convert clashes which I mentioned earlier what this does is very simple all these X's here detecting the clash they will turn into native um, points within SOLIDWORKS so if we just have a 3D sketch here that I've done here now if I make sure these are turned on which they are simply click convert clashes I'm now going to turn off clash detection and now you can see these here are actually native SOLIDWORKS points so that was clash detection and converting those clashes into native SOLIDWORKS points.